The 1980 Liberian coup, also known as the, the 12th of April Revolution, was a military coup d'etat that took place in Liberia on April 12, 1980. The coup marked the end of the presidency of William R. Talbert Jr. and the beginning of a period of political instability in Liberia. Background Liberia, a West African nation founded by freed American slaves in the 19th century, had been ruled by the true Whig Party since its independence in 1847. The party was dominated by the Americo-Liberians, descendants of the original settlers, who had maintained political and economic power over the country. The Talbert government, which had come to power in 1971, was accused of corruption and mismanagement of the country's resources. Additionally, there was growing discontent among the indigenous Liberian population, who had been marginalized by the ruling party. The coup. The coup was led by Samuel Doe, a sergeant in the Liberian army who had been trained by U.S. military advisors. Doe and his supporters, who were primarily from the indigenous population, seized the presidential palace and arrested Talbert and his cabinet. Talbert was subsequently executed, along with several other government officials. The coup was followed by widespread violence and looting, and there were reports of human rights abuses committed by Doe's supporters. Aftermath The coup marked the beginning of a period of political instability and violence in Liberia. Doe established a military government and suspended the constitution, effectively ending Liberia's democratic system. Doe's regime was accused of numerous human rights abuses, including torture and extrajudicial killings. The country descended into civil war in the 1990s, leading to the deaths of tens of thousands of people and the displacement of millions. Conclusion The 1980 Liberian coup was a pivotal moment in Liberian history, marking the end of the true Whig Party's rule and the beginning of a period of political instability and violence. The coup, led by Samuel Doe, led to the establishment of a military government and the suspension of the Constitution. The subsequent human rights abuses committed by Doe's regime and the civil war that followed underscored the importance of democratic governance and the dangers of political instability. The coup serves as a reminder of the need for accountable and responsible leadership to promote peace and stability in a nation.